Christine Palera spoke with Natalie Paquin, president and CEO of Points of Light, and Nicole Clifton, president of Social Impact for the UPS Foundation. Natalie, Nikki, thank you both so much for being with us today. Natalie, I want to start with you because Points of Light is recognizing Global Volunteer Month throughout the whole month of April. For anyone not familiar with this initiative, tell us all about it. Global Volunteer Month is, uh, is the month where we lift up and support volunteers and volunteerism. Uh, we're working with partners like UPS to celebrate uh, the work uh, that people are doing in community around the world. And so it really is a time for us to tell stories and thank that volunteer. Yeah, people are doing good. And not just with the pandemic now, we're also dealing with the war in Ukraine. So talk about how this is impacting volunteering. We have many partners that are in Eastern and Western Europe. They are on the ground um, really helping to provide humanitarian services uh, to the many people who are displaced. And so uh, this is a month and a time where we say thank you to them as well. Yes. And, and Nikki, I want to turn to you now. Many people, of course, think of you as a delivery company, but you are delivering more than just packages. You're delivering help to communities in need. Uh, talk about this commitment. So to date, we've delivered more than 1 billion vaccines to more than 110 wow. countries. And we've done it with 99% on-time performance. The UPS Foundation has also prioritized vaccine equity and we've underwritten the delivery of more than 33 million doses in underserved countries and marginalized areas across five continents. And when you're talking about giving back, I'm so proud to share that UPSers and their friends and families recorded 1 million volunteer service mm. hours in 2021 alone. Talk about specifically more of this work. We just recently announced an initial $1 million in initial emergency funding and our support for partners such as UNHCR, the Salvation Army, CARE, and the World Food Program will help to get uh, humanitarian relief where it's needed the most. This looks like it's going to be a long humanitarian relief effort. Right. And our first responders need our monetary support. So I want to thank our amazing partners for supporting these efforts during this crisis. Yes. So Natalie, why should someone act now? As Nikki said, unrestricted cash donations is what's really needed uh, right now. But there are things that you can do in your community as well. There's always an opportunity for um, you to support food insecurity, making wellness calls. You can always clean up a park or work with students as well. And some tutorial services are good ways to volunteer. Thank you so, so much, both of you. I appreciate your time. And thank you for making us more aware of the ways that we can get involved in Global Volunteer Month. We so appreciate it. Thank you, Christine. Thank you so much.